Hey folks, and thanks for joining me. I thought I would share this circuit. Uh, it's very similar to some of my other uh, impedance test circuits. Uh, if you look at it here left to right, you can see we've got our uh, voltage input point here uh, using a signal generator. I'll do a demonstration here in just a moment, and I'm going to go ahead and leverage uh, S generator on my uh, smartphone to uh, drive the uh, circuit here. And then the first thing we'll do is uh, calibrate. So if you go down here to my uh, calibration steps, you'll see I'm going to calibrate to uh, 100 millivolts AC with the loudspeaker not connected. And uh, we'll make that connection point here, uh, number A, on the uh, input side of the uh, resistor itself. So once we set that voltage reference, the only thing left to do is uh, hook up my uh, meter at this location and uh, hook up our test speaker at this location. And we can actually read the impedance of the uh, speaker itself right on the uh, high impedance uh, digital multimeter. Let's uh, take a look at it in action here. Okay, I've got everything hooked up here, and I'm in the uh, calibration mode right now. And one thing I didn't uh, call out on the uh, schematic that I shared just a bit ago, the uh, switch I'm showing here would need to be closed to be in the calibration mode for uh, point number A. So uh, just take note of that. And you can see I'm using a S generator here on my smartphone. I'm just generating a sine wave. And I've already got uh, everything set here using my uh, volume control and the slider itself in the app itself to get uh, as close as possible here to uh, 100 uh, millivolts AC, as you can see. Let me uh, reverse the leads now to uh, match that of the uh, schematic for testing this uh, 4 ohm loudspeaker. And uh, we'll do the test on it, and then we'll hook it up and uh, use my uh, LCR meter and look at the impedance as well. All right, and you can see everything's uh, hooked up here, and hopefully it's not too bad of a glare. Uh, but you can see now I'm still reading um, AC millivolts. But this number should correspond to our uh, impedance of the uh, loudspeaker itself. So I'm generating a tone at uh, 1000 hertz or so, and I'm showing a uh, impedance. Again, this would be the resistive component of uh, around 4 ohms or so. Just flip that off for a minute and uh, reset it here. And in just a moment, what I'll do is uh, do a sweep of the speaker as well, maybe out to about 5,000 hertz. And uh, we'll see how it uh, acts as well. You can probably see the uh, impedance itself creep up here. Let me grab the uh, LCR meter here. Let's hook it up and see what we read. Switch it over to impedance and uh, let me see if I can hold this where you guys can see that without the glare of my lights here. But you can see the impedance itself, the resistive component, is uh, just uh, right at 4 ohms or just a tick above that at uh, 1 kilohertz. So that's right on uh, target what we were reading. Let's go back and put uh, S generator here in the sweep mode and uh, sweep through the uh, speaker. Then I've got a uh, 8 ohm speaker as well. We'll hook it up and uh, do a quick uh, demo on it as well. And you can see I've got the uh, loudspeaker hooked back up here. And uh, let me go ahead and switch this over. I think I've got a, a preset sweep here I can go to, or I'll just change it to sweep mode. And I'm sweeping now, and uh, you can see I'm starting out at uh, 20 hertz. 
you know, we'll sweep up to uh, only 5,000 hertz here, just so we don't uh, create a longer video than necessary. But you can see as the uh, frequency increases here in just a bit, you'll probably see just a small ramp up here in the impedance itself. And I'm up just above uh, 300 hertz here. So you can see it's a pretty handy way and simple method to um, do a quick test on a loudspeaker just using the uh, one resistor and here we're starting over so uh, let me pause that real quick let me hook up this little uh, 8 ohm speaker here and uh, we'll repeat the process here and uh, test it for accuracy as well so um, here's a, a little cheapo speaker that I've used before in some of my demonstrations you can see I'm 7.7 uh, .7 to 7.8 on the impedance itself Let's uh, switch it into the uh, circuit now and see what we read. And if you're interested in building another loudspeaker impedance tester leveraging Arduino, just look for a pop-up here at the uh, top right side of your screen. Okay, I've got everything uh, hooked up here and you can see it's uh, extremely close to the uh, LCR meter here. It's fluctuating from 7.6 millivolts which again equals uh, Z, or impedance in this case, based on the circuit, generating a uh, tone at 1000 Hz. So uh, let's go into the uh, sweep mode here. And uh, you'll see a few things here. Around, uh, I think, 160, 170 Hz on this uh, loudspeaker. I'll let you guys know when we're there. This thing uh, ramps up impedance-wise. You can see it starting to uh, ramp up now. We're getting close to that uh, one of the peaks in impedance. You can see that there. Then it's going to drop off, and uh, there's another small bump. And then it just gradually climbs uh, once you get above uh, like 600 hertz or so up to uh, 20,000 Hertz is fairly linear but you'll see the impedance uh, continue to increase as the frequency itself increases. I'm going to run this just to uh, 5,000 Hertz for this exercise. Okay, now we're starting all over again. So, uh, folks, thanks for uh, watching this uh, real quick demo of a simple circuit that you guys can uh, build. Substitute a, a signal generator for the uh, S generator on the uh, smartphone. And uh, it takes just moments to set up. You could uh, throw in some switches, you know, and uh, automate this process. Make it nice and simple for uh, your bench. I appreciate you guys watching. Take care.